Agora TV. The world is thinking. Going on to the next thing, here you go. Gareth Ashley has checked in, you know, at San Francisco International Airport. No, he hasn't. You know, he checked in, like, somewhere else. It's interesting that, you know, the thing you're less likely to do in a check-in hall now is check-in. You've already checked in. You just blast through that hall. You deal with your bag if you have to. And so it's a kind of separation that, that, that is a, a subtle change in the way we've, we deal with flight documents, which used to be paper and are now um, entirely um, digital. Uh, the, bad, uh, the boarding pass and the baggage tag used to be controlled documents. You could not get that boarding pass unless you were at the airport. You could not get that baggage tag unless the agent had your bag. So uh, now the airline doesn't know um, that you're even at the airport until you get on the plane. The baggage system doesn't know that you know it's got a bag until it reads it at the first reader. Oh, hello, bag. And, and security, even though they know they have the manifest and they, they know you're there, and if you filled in the, the APIS information, they have a little background information on you. They don't know till you turn up, so it is difficult for them. Um, they've got to deal with whatever's thrown at them. Um, and, you know, <laughs> near field communications is something that's, um, it's an RFID chip that's in a phone, uh, which, you know, if you're, in the, it, it's, it's not a necessarily an airport technology, it's a phone technology that, that's coming. The banks and the, and, the, and the phone makers are basically working together to implant an RFID chip in your phone, like a click card that's connected to your bank account, should you choose to do it. So you can use that for more um, And in, in a deeper, kind of darker way, it's connecting you know, your ID and, your, and your, your identity and what you do and everything your mobile phone tells people about you to uh, an identity that, that, that can be re related to your ID. So the idea being that you, know, you could take your phone, uh, which is your you know, 2D boarding pass, you can tap it to, to, to a gate, which will identify it as you. It'll throw up a picture. Um, the CCTV cameras can recognize your face. And you could go through, theoretically, without you know, um, ha having to deal with a, a TSA agent, um, because uh, the technology is there. And, but you say, you know, how could, <laughs> they, no, no agents see me, how do, how do they know about me? You know, they, 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 they don't need to necessarily, you know, see you there. They, 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 you, what you do with your phone and what you do with your life has basically pre-cleared you to travel. You know, if you give uh, these authorities permission, you know, to, to, to find out what's on your phone, what you did, where you've been, what you've tweeted, you know, you, you can be no risk and you can go. So, why do we need the TSA when you know you can get approval powered by Google, powered by what you've done? So this is um, something that you know if people are, are mulling about because it, obviously it's a permission issue. Would you consent to this if it meant you you could breeze through the airport? Some people would. Some people would. <laughs> 